Hello, this is Andy Teach. I am on a 777 in a lavatory. I'm eight miles above the earth, flying from Los Angeles to Hong Kong. 15 hours non-stop. What am I supposed to do for 15 hours? I can only read so many magazines. I can only watch so many movies. I'm bored. We have a businessman doing some Tai Chi. Plaza. There's a little food market by my hotel. These are the mid-level escalators. I'm about to go on them. They go about a half a mile one direction. And you, about 20 stops where you can get off. It's free, great way to see the city. Let's do it. One of the cool things about Hong Kong is that they have the longest covered escalator system in the world, the central to mid-level escalators. They were originally constructed in 1993 to help commuters go from the bedroom communities of the mid-levels to the business offices of the Central District. I guess some people are in a rush. Right, it's a little steep here. There's about 20 escalators and plenty of places to stop along the way. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to go the entire length, but keep in mind that the escalator only runs downhill from 6 to 10 a.m. and uphill from 10.30 a.m. to midnight. All right, the bad news is I think you'll take the stairs all the way back down. If you take the escalator all the way up, you may have to take the stairs all the way down or take a taxi. But either way, it's a relaxed way to get around the city, except of course for people going to work. The Victoria Peak Tram takes you to the top of Victoria Peak, which is the highest point on Hong Kong Island, and it gives you a spectacular view of the city. The tram celebrated its 125th anniversary in 2013. When the tram first started in 1888, it was powered by coal-fired steam boilers. Today, the trams use a microprocessor-controlled electric motor that automatically manages the tram car speed. The tram starts at 92 feet, or 28 meters above sea level, and finishes at 1,300 feet, or 396 meters above sea level. The track is about 0.85 miles, or 1.4 kilometers long. The tram operates from 7 a.m. to 12 midnight every day and departs every 10 to 15 minutes. Each tram car can hold up to 120 passengers, 95 seated and 25 standing. Two tram cars run in opposite directions for over 90 trips a day, with each trip taking between five to seven minutes. The track is at an angle anywhere from four to 27 degrees, 
What you're about to see really freaked me out. The skyscrapers appear at a steep angle and look like they're falling toward the mountain. This is called the peak tram illusion and it certainly fooled me. On its first day of operation in May 1888, the tram attracted 600 passengers. Today, it attracts over 10,000 passengers a day, about 4 million annually. Some people have voted this the number one skyline in the world, and you will see why. Try to label these buildings. The first one is the Costco Tower, which is that one. The next one is called the Center. I think it's this one. This one is called 2 IFC by Exchange Square. That is Chung Kong Center. No, not that one. It's that one. And then this one that's very recognizable is the Bank of China building. Which is that one. That's the Bank of China building. That is Pacific Place. And we have Central Plaza. That is Central Plaza. And one more is called Hopewell Center. It's a circular top. Right there. Lantau Island and I'm about 45 minutes outside of the main downtown Hong Kong. This is a little Buddha and that is a big Buddha. That is a very big Buddha. 
Big Buddha. And Ludo Buddha. I think I'll take him home. So here we go, all the way up the stairs. Check out Big Buddha. Getting closer. The Big Buddha is one of the five large Buddhist statues in China. It's 112 feet or 34 meters high and weighs 250 metric tons. It was completed in 1993 and was the world's tallest bronze seated Buddha prior to 2007. Big Buddha is a bronze statue of Buddha Amaga Siddhi. The statue is named Tian Tan Buddha because its base is a model of the Altar of Heaven or Earthly Mount of Tian Tan, the Temple of Heaven in Beijing. The statue is located near Poland Monastery and symbolizes the harmonious relationship between man and nature. Some clouds have come out. <laughs> We have some offerings. And last but not least. <laughs> Big Buddha is surrounded by six smaller bronze statues known as the offerings of the six devas. They are posed offering flowers, incense, lamp ointment, fruit, and music to the Buddha. These offerings symbolize charity, morality, wisdom, meditation, and patience, all of which are necessary to enter into nirvana, not the rock group. I'm referring to peace of mind. People are throwing money for good luck. It's like a carnival game. Try to get it right in there. I mentioned how patience is necessary to enter into Nirvana. Well, one thing's for sure, you'll need patience if you're going to get your coins into that cup. <laughs> we have a winner. There's a heavy smell of incense here. Poland Monastery is a Buddhist monastery located on Nong Ping Plateau on Lantau Island, Hong Kong. The monastery was founded in 1906 by three monks visiting from Jiangsu, China and was originally known as the Big Hut. It received its present name in 1924. All right, we're about to go into the temple. takes requests. Big Buddha, he's got a cloud around him now. Now you can see him. He's just covered in a mist. Behind me is the temple. I'm not supposed to take any pictures of photography. Oh, I'm sorry, my camera slipped. Well, we'll get the outside. 
Let's see if I get in trouble. Come on. Let's see if I can get the Buddhas. The main temple houses three bronze statues of the Buddha, representing his past, present, and future lives, as well as many Buddhist scriptures. Before I get busted. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Beautiful temple. This is the outside of the temple. Looks like I have to wait online. Those are the escalators, mid-level escalators. They go about a half a mile. Oh,
The famous Star Ferry in Hong Kong takes passengers across Victoria Harbor to and from Hong Kong Island and Kowloon every day. It's only about a 10 minute ride and it's a very inexpensive and scenic way to see Hong Kong's majestic skyline. The Star Ferry originated in 1880 and the company went public in 1898. About 70,000 passengers a day or 26 million passengers a year go across the harbor. This tall building is 2 IFC or 2 International Finance Center. It was completed in 2003, has 88 floors and is 1,388 feet or 420 meters high. It's the second tallest building in Hong Kong. This is the tallest building in Hong Kong the International Commerce Center on Kowloon. It was completed in 2010, has 118 floors, is 1,588 feet or 484 meters high, and ranks among the top 10 tallest buildings in the world. This is the Clock Tower building. luxurious hotels in the world.
Ngon quá Đây hàng phá hồng tiêu là hậu cũng được Ngon quá 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 Ngon qu